What is up Dingleberries, Mario back here and today I've got a treat for you guys as you can see that little video bar just went down there and yes from the background you can see I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan but that's not what this is about. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a Minecraft character. Now you're going to need Adobe Flash for this, you're also going to need Skin Viewer on Minecraft. You can search up all these things, they'll pop up like this and um, well yeah that's all you need. First off you're going to search up your own name and then click show skin and it's going to show your skin and now this is what I want my character to do. I want him to have his arms open wide, like this. Save image, and you're going to make sure you save the image as a PNG file, and you're going to save it on your desktop just to make it simple. And I'm going to name my... And uh, look, it appeared. Perfect. I love it. And then over here, you're going to open up Flash, and then, oh god. Oh god. You're going to click on New. You're going to click on media playback and I don't know if this is updated by the time you get it but I have the CS5 version uh, CS5 version and you're gonna click on playback title safe area you're gonna click on this 1080 and then click on fit in window there we go and you're gonna click on file open desktop all files drag it down open that and TJ, TJ the tornado's on. I don't even know who that is. You're gonna copy this. You're gonna go over here. You're gonna paste it. And there we go. Yay! Now we're gonna do. No, it's not done. I promise you. It's not. It's not gonna be this crappy. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna go down to 200, and you're gonna get this close. Then you're gonna click on this, this brush tool. Click on it. Make sure this is black, and make sure you get the size that you want. Since it's so small, I'm going to go down to 400, just to be exact. I'm too lazy, actually. I'll just get up here. I'll do a sloppy job, just for the sake of the tutorial, so you guys don't get bored. And uh, here we go. Draw it slowly. Very detailed, guys. It doesn't have to be exact, but it does have to be somewhat correct. You can't make it look like total crap. Okay. Up here. And then over here. Down here. I'm almost done and come on I've almost got the head done do the little headband over here a little eyebrow a little eye the little head over here and the little chest and this is how it looks right now let me show you what you could do is you click on this Move it a little bit, move it a little bit, just see how far you've gone, and then click Control Z. I don't know what buttons those are for uh, for for Mac, but this is what it is. I'm gonna get back to you guys as soon as I finish tracing it all out. Are so you I'll guys, see you guys ready? in a sec? Because this is gonna this is gonna blow your mind away. Here it is. <laughs> it doesn't look exactly the same, but I mean, come on, that's the whole point of it. You want it to look a little bit off. You want it to look a little bit cartoony and fake, which makes it good. Now, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna click on this this paint bucket and then you're gonna just as simple as that and uh, what you're gonna want to do is be a little bit smart and uh, well color the right parts in the right shades of black not make everything black black just the, just the right parts like these parts these parts are black black right over here see the shoes are black black right here and the tips are not black. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna go one below. This isn't black black. This isn't black black, and this isn't black black. This isn't either. This isn't either. And well, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. Next up, we're gonna wait wait. wait are we done? No, we're not done. And we're gonna get the we're gonna get the lighter shade of gray. Color this. Oh no, that's not light enough. We need to get a lighter shade of gray, like this one. Lighter, color it in. Next up is the red. You're gonna, you're gonna get a really, really dark red. And well, this for my character, not for your character. I don't know what it's gonna be. Color it red. And see, it almost looks alike, almost. Now, don't be fooled, okay? Don't be fooled. These parts are white, correct? But when you save it, it's gonna be a PNG file. So I know it's white already, but you're gonna have to re-whiten it over here. White, white, and I'm just, I'm just trying to help you out. Don't you forget that. 
And then we're going to try to find the right shade of your character. So your character can be different from my character. My character is a light, light person. He happens to be an Asian character from an anime. So he's, he's a pretty damn light person. Your character could be a, could be a ninja. Um, now we're going to try to find this color. No, is it? No. Is this it? Could this be it? This right here? Oh no, too dark. Too dark. Too damn dark. We're gonna go, we're gonna go. I don't know, it doesn't feel right right here. We're gonna go up here. Oh boy! Oh, oh no! Oh no, too, too damn bleached. Alright. One to the right. Oh, I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh no, damn, this just looks terrible. I had it a few days ago, I lost it. Oh no, it's still too dark. This guy is really pale, man. He does not get enough sunlight. Still too pale, I don't know what to do with this guy. Alright, wait one sec, we're gonna find this color, don't worry. Don't you worry. There it is, there it is. There we go, finally. We found the right color for him. And we're gonna color it all in. There we go. And now the paint, I mean, uh, the buckle, which we forgot. And now I've never done this before, but I did, I did like see this video of a guy and he said, he said shading it in, shading some parts in makes it look better. Now, I don't know if he's lying, if he's being a dirty, dirty son of a bitch. I don't know if he is, I don't know if he's not, but I'm gonna try it. Just a sec. He said to, okay, so. Well, there's a, okay, wait, let me see, let me see something. All right, it's correct. All right, there we go, let me see. All right, there we go, that's the first part. Well, shading, it makes it look a little better, doesn't it now? Okay, that looks terrible. You gotta fix that. There we go. Looks a little bit better. Alright, I'm sorry for being a little bit quiet. I'm just trying to concentrate really hard. Come on, come on. We can do it. Oh, yes, I'm doing it. Okay, that looks really bad. Let's keep it like this. Oh no, that looks bad also. Alright. There we go. Alright. There we go. Wow, that looks nice. Really does look nice. Wait. Remember, this is just a little bit of the edges. Shade in a little bit over here, a little bit over there. It's my first time trying it. It might look a little bad. And I'm sorry about that, but it's my first time. What we're going to do is, what shade of, we got this, no, we're going to get this shade of gray. Do this part now. Okay, no, that looks just terrible. We're going to need to zoom in on it even more. Zoom in on it even more. That just might be right. Right there. Right there. Cut that in. And let's see how it looks. Oh, that looks good. Looks good. I like it. I like it. I think it looks nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. Drag it over here. And just color it in. Color it in real good. Color that shit real good. Oh, yes. Okay, it's getting really wrong, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. See how it looks? Oh, I like it. It looks damn nice. Okay, next up, the skin. Now, um, yeah, this, this, is, this is quite the tutorial, isn't it? 
but I'm trying to I'm trying to give you guys a good demonstration. I'm trying to look good as possible. I'm trying to show you that it won't look like total crap if you do it the right way. And clearly the red cannot be shaded because it's the deepest type of red. Um, but what color was our skin? Somewhere over here. This. Was it this or was it was it this? Well, the skin can't be shaded either. Well, I guess that's how it is. Look, it looks kind of fine. I shaded it in a little bit. It looks good in my opinion. I really love the way it looks. I think it looks good. And um, well, it looks nice. I really like it. I'm really loving it. It looks all good. And uh, well, that was that, that's all there is to it. Now you just gotta right click on this character, cut him out of the picture, export, export image, PNG file. Bad us and save and uh, and click on it and there he is he looks fine and dandy and uh, you can do whatever you want with this you can go on Photoshop afterwards and put him like behind a tree or in front of a tree or on top of a tree whatever you want but that's all there is to it it's as simple as that you guys saw it here please leave a like down below it would help me out very very much click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And uh, comment down below what you thought. If this is not working for you, tell me. If you need any any help further than that, inbox me. But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.